Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, MTK Global, here in the Matron Bubble for the world title triple header, headlined by Katie Taylor and Miriam Gutierrez, who joins me here, and again with my translator, who's made about 100 appearances <laughs> recently. Um, how are we, Miriam? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, yo siempre bien. Contente y feliz. Yeah, I'm very well. I'm, I'm happy. I'm always feeling good and I'm, and I'm really, really cheerful, pleased. You got into boxing quite late, so to be at the stage where you're fighting someone like Katie Taylor, who's a trailblazer of the sport, is this sort of a pinch yourself moment? Sí, llegaste como al deporte bastante tarde, digamos, a los 30 años. E, y para pelearte contra Katie, que es una, una grande del, del deporte, te tienes que pensar, ¿cómo, ¿cómo he llegado aquí? No, pienso de que hemos hecho el trabajo bien, poco a poco, desde el campo amateur. Y ahora en el profesionalismo hemos ido eh, haciendo las cosas bien, pelea por pelea. Y ahora ha llegado el momento de, de disfrutar con una de las mejores libra por libra. So no, I don't. I don't think that at all. It's um, it's a case of working really hard. I've worked really hard and bit by bit and worked my way up in the amateur division. And now as a professional, it's gone fight by fight. And to finally arrive here at this fight against one of the best, or not, if not the best, pound for pound fighters in the world. Because you started so late, what sort of intention did you go into boxing with? Did you always know that you were going to be on the world level and fighting the likes of Katie? Because, like I said, when you start late, you never really know how far you can take it. Sí, cuando empiezas tarde nunca sabes hasta qué punto puedes llegar. Eh, pero pensaste que ibas a llegar a, a este punto peleando contra Katie para un título mundial, así. No, no se sabía. Yo sabía de que estábamos bien, estábamos para pelear en cada una de las peleas que venían. Eh, y no te vas dando cuenta de lo que vas consiguiendo hasta que lo consigues y te llega la oportunidad. So you don't really realize um, what you've done until you've got there, but when you were working hard, fight by fight and progressing well and, and beating opponents that were put in front of us. So you don't really realize where you've got to until you've got there. And for the UK fans who won't be too aware of your fighting style, what's got you here? I mean, are you aggressive? Have you been beating the hell out of people? Have you been boxing people? Can you tell us what's got you here and you know, sort of the fighting style that you're looking to bring to the ring against Katie? Para los fans que a lo mejor no te conocen, ¿qué, puede, qué les puede decir en, en de tu, tu estilo? ¿Es un estilo, digamos, táctico? ¿O le has ganado fácilmente a tus rivales? Con, ¿Cómo es tu, tu estilo? De ver, de ver cómo están actuando también lo contrario para saber cómo, cómo contra, contra atacar al, al oponente. So my style is basically looking at my opponents to work out how I can counter their style. So it's taking into account their uh, way of fighting. And if we look at Katie's way of fighting, her two most troublesome fights have both been against Delphine Pursun. Does she look at the blueprint that Pursun used against Katie and although she didn't come out victorious did she look at that and sort of see the, the idea that's there and perhaps try and mimic parts of that not all of it but just parts of it y las dos peleas que ha tenido en que ha tenido problemas Katie ha sido contra Delphine Pesu Pesu um, has mirado las peleas que ha tenido las dos peleas a quizás buscar una forma de atacarle no porque cada pelea que ella ha tenido ha sido de manera diferente ha sido oponentes muy diferentes un cada una de ellas O sea, yo tampoco puedo mirar cosas porque yo también en cada combate voy cambiando mi forma de pelear. No, I've not really looked at those fights to, to look for a weakness, let's say, because each fight she's had is different, each opponent is different, so I can't really compare because things change based on what opponent is in front of you. Well, obviously, a massive opportunity for yourself. Do you even look past this? Because even if you know you want to go and get the result that you look for, if you were to put up a good fight against Katie, there's always a rematch. You could potentially get signed as well by a big promoter. Have you thought about what could be past this or is it strictly Katie enough enough? ¿Has, ¿Te has llegado a pensar en lo que puede pasar después de pelea? Por ejemplo, si llegas a tener un buen rendimiento en esta pelea, ¿podrían haber otras oportunidades, una segunda pelea o quizás una posibilidad de hacer un contrato con un promotor? ¿Has mirado o, o estás totalmente enfocada en esta, en esta pelea? Estoy enfocada. Yo por ahora no pienso en algo más. Ya cuando pase el combate ya veremos a ver. No, I'm completely focused on this fight and perhaps after the fight we can start to think about other things, but right now I'm completely focused on, on this one. And about the card as well, I mean, 
it's a momentous night for female boxing, a triple world header. How honoured are you to be part of that? Because when we look back in years and we look back at the trailblazers of the sport, this card will be mentioned and Miriam Gutierrez will be a name that, that people speak of. Y qué cuánto orgullo también de, de da eh, formar parte de una cartelera en que hay tres peleas para títulos mundiales, pero femeninas también. Y en, el, en un futuro van, la gente va a mirar y, y decir que Miriam Gutiérrez formaba parte de esta cartelera. Supongo que te da mucho orgullo, ¿no? Hombre, es algo muy bonito, es algo bonito. Lo que pasa es que, bueno, que sean solo carteleras de mujeres está muy bien, ¿vale? Pero al final el boxeo es femenino y masculino a la misma vez. Sí, es lovely, es lovely to be part of this, of this bill. Um, and it's great that there's so many um, female fighters on this. But what's also great is that there, there's a mixed um, uh, card of both female and male fighters. I've got to talk to you about, I know you've sort of mentioned this in a few previous interviews, but I've got to talk to you about the assistance perhaps you're giving people who face domestic violence. And as a victim yourself, I don't know if she'd be too keen on opening up on perhaps her story or what's happened, but the way she's helped women outside of boxing as well and uh, dealing and coming to terms with those things. Y obviamente ha, ha sido un ejemplo para, en cuanto al boxeador, en el boxeo, digamos, eh, pero también eh, hablabas un poco de esto antes de, de ser víctima de, de eh, abuso de género. Eh, no sé si quieres hablar un poco de eso y cómo actualmente ayudas a las personas que también lo han sufrido. Hombre, ahora yo desde la concejalía de Torrejón, donde estamos apoyando... Eh, a todas las mujeres de víctimas de violencia de género, cualquier tipo de caso que tengan y situación tanto con gente, con psicólogos, con gente o tipo de ayudas eh, que necesiten eh, para poder salir eh, adelante depende en los casos que tengan cada una de ellas, o sea, muchas de ellas pueden llegar a ser físicamente eh, o, o psicológicamente. La verdad es que, bueno, sinceramente desde mi municipio de Torrejón es donde estamos ayudando a todas las personas que quieren yendo a la concejalía para pedir ese tipo de ayuda. So in Torrejón, where I'm from, and I'm part of the local government there, where we help pe um, people who have suffered from domestic violence, um, whether that's providing them with psychological help or whatever they need to get out and make a go and move forward in terms of their situation. So that's what I do in my local government. And for anyone that needs that help, um, who has suffered, whether it be physical or psychological abuse, um, we're there for them and, and, and it's great to be able to help them to, to come out of that situation. Well, that's brilliant, making a difference inside and outside the ring. Before I let you go, Katie Taylor, yourself, you're going to be under the lights on Saturday. There's going to be no one else in there, there's going to be no fans. It's just going to be you two. When it comes down to it, how does it work out? Um, it's una cosa increíble que has hecho en que en la iniciativa que formas parte de en Torrejones. Me parece perfecto. Pero hablando de la pelea, um, no van a haber ni fans ni nada, solamente luces y, y, y la pelea. Uh, ¿Cuántas ganas tienes ya de, de, de y cómo, cómo puedes rendir bien? Pues tengo muchas ganas porque nos hemos entrenado mucho para ese momento. Eh, la, la dificultad es que ahora mismo tenemos que es que no va a haber público, no va a haber gente de apoyo, no va a haber gente que nos arrope, pero por lo menos se, se ha podido dar la pelea, cosa que en otros eh, sitios o en otros países ni siquiera pueden llegar a hacer nada por la situación que ahora mismo estamos corriendo. Ahora mismo es ilusión. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've been training really hard. It will be tough without the fans there um, supporting us. But one thing I would say is that at least in this country you're able to experience boxing and enjoy boxing, whereas in other countries it, it, it's not taking place. So it's just looking forward to it now and excitement for the fight. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.